Hey there, it's Lisa Akia and welcome back to my channel. This is a LinkedIn quick tip. Today I'm teaching you how to find someone's email address on LinkedIn. I often hear this from people I'm working with or people who are looking for work and they'll tell me I've contacted the recruiter, I've contacted the hiring manager on LinkedIn, but they're not answering my messages. As you probably know, people often don't use LinkedIn on a daily basis unless there's really a purpose for it. So it can happen sometimes that the person is not actually active on the platform, even though they have a profile. We all know, however, that people tend to check their emails on a daily basis. Sometimes it's the first thing you do when you wake up in the morning. So you're more likely to get someone by email than you are by sending them a message to their LinkedIn inbox. So I'm teaching you today how to find their email. And I'm using free services. There are paid lead generation services. There are tons of them out there that you can easily Google search and pay a monthly subscription for that. I would say those are for bigger sales companies that are looking for leads. They use LinkedIn Sales Navigator in addition to one of these tools to find people's emails. For professionals who are looking to contact a handful of recruiters or looking to connect with someone in their industry, I wouldn't say you need to pay for some of those monthly subscriptions. So let's do this the free way. <laughs> so how do you find somebody's email? The first thing is through contact info. Everyone on their profile has a contact info section, but they may not make their email public, so it depends on how they've set their profile. This is one way where you can find the person's email address. As you can see here, that's my email address right there, and that's how a person could have the email right in their contact info. The second way you can find someone's email address is through their about section. Sometimes, People will include their email address. If they have included a call to action in their about section, sometimes they include their email address. For me here, I run a business. So for me, I put my website instead of my email. When they go on the website, yes, they can find the email, but the email is already at the top of the profile. But for individuals, professionals, they may have already included their email address there. Some people even put their phone number. I've seen some people do that. Uh, they may also refer you to other social media. If they're more active on other platforms, they may re refer you to other social media. And then you can get, let's say that they refer you to Instagram where they're more active. And then you may find their email address on that platform instead. And then the last way I will say is this website called hunter.io. It is a free website that you can create an account. As you can see here, I'm on a free plan. And basically how you find the person, it will ask you which way you want to find the person. Go into the finder. And that's the page that I was just at here. I'm gonna look for myself. So my name is Lisa Apia. And then you have to put the company where the person works. So for me, it's We Apply, and you can find it right here. I was the last option. So basically, here as you can see, it gives me my email address, lisa at weapply.ca. This is actually not my public email. This is not an email that's on my website. This is my own personal email that I use uh, for my business, as you noticed before, was info at weapply.ca. And you can see that it says we didn't find this email publicly on the web because it's not. Um, but as you can see here, this they were able to find my email. Sometimes what it'll tell you instead is like the format of the email of a person who works at a given company. So let's go with something really, really generic. Somebody that, let's say George Smith, who works at Google. Let's find. So let's see here, it says George Smith, G Smith at google.com. Why this is helpful is that it gives you the format of the email of the people who work at that company. So let's say you're looking for somebody else who works at Google, but they're not showing up in this search here, but their name, you know their name is Tara McDonald you know that the format of the email will be tmcdonald at google.com. So this is why this is a helpful tool to be able to find people's email addresses. 
I hope you found this video helpful. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do so. I have a bunch of other videos on LinkedIn quick tips, one of them being how to ensure that you're not sending a notification to everyone every time you update your LinkedIn profile. And I'm putting the link to that video right here. You can click on it to watch it. So I'll see you in that one. Take care. Bye.